Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of House Flipper. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. I think today we are going to tackle this house, the Pink Kingdom House. It it it's very pink, hence the name Pink Kingdom. Let's uh, buy it. Whew, man, just look at that image. It's so pink. Ah, uh, <laughs> let's see what we can do with this. All right, so we've got the exterior of the house here. Obviously, it's a pink house. Uh, the yard actually does have some flowers and stuff in it, which is kind of nice. So maybe we'll do a little bit with the yard in this one. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, it, eh, so much random stuff to deal with. Uh, okay, let's take a look inside the house. So the house itself is like fully furnished. And it's actually pretty clean, which is nice. Uh, but man, the colors and the actual, like, furniture and stuff definitely needs an overhaul. It's very, very pink. Um, and then we've got a garage in here with a car and some other random stuff. What else we got? This goes out to the back. And then this is a bathroom. Okay, so we have a relatively large bathroom down here. We've got a kitchen and living room area. We have a full, we have a single car garage. And then upstairs, there's one, maybe, probably two bedrooms. Okay, I think, honestly, we're probably not going to make any changes to this house as far as walls and stuff goes, I think I'm actually pretty happy with the layout of the house. Uh, we just really need to overhaul all of the furniture and uh, the colors and stuff. Other than that, I think the house is fairly okay. So let me get to work on, you know, mowing the lawn and all that kind of good stuff and getting all this ugly pink stuff sold. And then I'll catch up with you. All right, my friends, I have made some major progress. So obviously I've got the lawn and everything mowed. I redid the siding on the house. So it's actually like white siding now instead of being just entirely pink. And then I painted most of the house. This is, I believe, forest mist. Yeah, forest mist. Uh, which is the color that matches the staircase here, and you can't repaint staircases. So basically, I went with this color because it matches this chunk of the stairs. I still need to do the bathroom. Um, this hasn't been repainted yet, and the garage in here has not been repainted yet, but I'll worry about that in the future. Otherwise, the whole house has been repainted. I also put in black doors, which I think work uh, pretty well, and they match the sliding door over here, which we're going to keep. Um, I also think we're going to do a fair amount with the garden here. I think that could be kind of cool. Maybe we'll go for like sort of a, uh, a very, I don't know, English style garden, because if you look at the garden competitions, you can see the different types. There's like American and crop and whatnot. English is loose, natural layout, lots of flower beds with lots of colors and uh, brick stone paths and stuff like that. I think that could be really good for this, especially since we've already got kind of a start on it with some flower beds, you know, over here and here and stuff like that. I think that could be pretty cool. So that's probably what we're going to go with. But I still need to get the garage sorted out. And you know what? Let's do the garage together because this will be pretty quick. So for the floor, I feel like garage floors should pretty much always just be concrete. Like, does anyone have a garage where the floor isn't concrete? <laughs> Every garage I have ever seen has been a concrete floor, but I can't seem to find the concrete now. Here we go. Uh, does anyone, like literally, does anybody have a garage that doesn't have a concrete floor? If so, please let me know because I'm actually quite curious. Um, for the walls in here, I think we're just gonna paint them and let's just paint them like a dark gray. Something like this, I think will be fine. Yeah, that should work. That'll be perfectly acceptable. So we want to make sure we get the inside bits here. We'll get 
that little chunk up there. We'll get that little chunk up there. There we go. And we change the garage from purple to gray. Okay, so now for some garage related stuff. I think we'll get like a garage shelf. Uh, maybe put that here. Can we fit another one in? Probably not. This is actually going to be pretty tight if you want to fit a car in. Maybe I'll put the garage shelf over here instead. Because this is like, this is a very deep garage. Actually, I wonder. Maybe we could... Ooh, I have an idea. How much garage space do we think we need? Probably like... Here? Is that enough for one car? Maybe? That's hard to say, because, like, you could almost put in another room over here. Like, you'll barely fit a car, but it's only a single car garage anyway. And then that actually adds an extra room to the house. I mean, I'm sure that the the game won't be able to figure out that, um, like, your garage isn't big enough. <laughs> so we could actually do something like this. Tear this wall down. And then that gives us room for, like, an extra bedroom or something. There we go. How big is that garage? It's a little small, but it's fine. <laughs> the people don't have to know. I mean, you could fit a small car in here, maybe, right? And then that opens up a room over here that you can use for, you know, whatever you want. This could be like, um, I don't know, it, it could be an extra bedroom or any number of different things. Let's get the floor tiles here. Oop. Put that there. So now we've added an additional room to the house, even though the garage is now very small. I think that's probably still worth it. Maybe this could be an office? That's an option. I don't know. Anyway, um, <laughs> unexpected changes aside, I think I'm going to go with it. And, you know, realistically, it's fine. It, it's okay. We'll <laughs> repaint this. We're going to kind of have to forego um, garage shelves, I think. Although we could essentially make the... We could make it appear more rectangular by putting in like a garage shelf here so the car would go more like over here or something like that. It doesn't have to be ridiculous. I mean, we've got a perfectly serviceable garage, right? Yeah, it's fine. I decided to do the bathroom first, and we managed to fit a pretty decent bathroom in here. So we've got a shower, a bathtub, a toilet, a sink, and a mirror over here, and then we even managed to fit in a washing machine. Um, one thing that I wish they would add is with these tiles, these wall tiles, you can only use certain colors if you only want them to go up halfway. I was considering painting this whole thing like a light green, but if we look at these, your options for wall colors that it will blend with are white, silver, uh, darker gray, forest mist, and beige gray. Those are your five options. Um, so you can't actually use these tiles with every color of paint, which I wish they would change, because otherwise this bathroom would probably be green instead of... Um, white, but it is what it is. Uh, other than that, I think it's pretty good. It's a, it's a little bit uh, lacking in color. It's very white, but 
but I think that's fine. And overall, I like the layout of it. I like uh, the fact that all the space is pretty much filled. We even managed to fit in some curtains and stuff. So I think it's fine. I think it's a, per uh, a perfectly functional and good bathroom. It took me a little while to work it out, but I think I'm super happy with this main downstairs room. So what I did is I added an additional wall here, just kind of a, a partial wall so that we could fit kitchen cabinets going along the top here, because otherwise we would have only had about this much wall space for the kitchen. So this way I was able to kind of bring a counter around with cabinets above it, and I think that works really well. Then this becomes basically a hallway to the garage. Uh, with just a radiator here to basically fill the space and a carpet, little shoe rack, nothing fancy. Over here, we've got a little bit of a living room area with a couch and a coffee table, TV, fireplace, and then over here's a little dining room area with a circular table and some chairs. And then there's just some various decorations, plants, uh, pictures, you know, etc. But overall, I think this turned out really well. I like the kitchen. I like the flow of it. Uh, it's very nice and inviting. It's cozy. It fits everything you need. I like it a lot. I think this is really good. I finished up the office and I think it turned out really well. So I went with a like a steel desk with this kind of corner desk. We put a monitor and a little computer set up here, office chair, safe, uh, trash can, and then just some various office stuff like a printer and a stapler and uh, some paper trays and stuff like that. Put in some bookshelves, put in a whiteboard and a bulletin board, and then just some more shelves, little carpet. Super, like, it, it, everything fits really well. The space, I think, is used up really well. We could maybe put, like, one thing. Let's go decorations, pictures, and paintings. Do we have anything? You know what? Let's actually put, like, a, a personal photo right here. And then I want to get something to hang up on the wall. Um... And it needs to be something shaped kind of like this. That might work. And we can just put that up here. Yeah, that's a little better. Okay, cool. So this is all taken care of, and I think it's looking good. Uh, super happy with this little office space that, uh, you know, wasn't here originally. This was originally part of the garage. So I think that turned out really well. It's a nice use of the space, and I'm quite happy with it. Going up the stairs, we needed to do something with this space, the landing at the top. So I just put in a couple of bookshelves uh, or a bookcase over here and then this like ladder planter thing and some plants and some decorations, curtains and an area rug. Uh, and I think it fills the space nicely. It's nothing too crazy, and uh, but it, it's enough to make it not feel super empty. So I think next we're going to do this bedroom and I think we're going to do this bedroom together since it's pretty small. So let's grab some paint. And the first thing I want to do, I think, is paint this a different color. Let's maybe go like a... Maybe like a dark blue could be kind of cool. Uh, I think a medium bucket should be enough. But go like a dark blue color for this bedroom. It shouldn't take too long to paint since, again, it's a pretty small room. And then we'll probably put a carpet in here as well. Like, an, we'll, we'll carpet the floor. Um, we'll need to go single bed, I imagine, because it's a small room. But I think we should be able to fit everything we need for a bedroom into this space. So there we go. I missed one little bit right there. Okay, I think that's good. Uh, so let's go floor, floor, panels and coverings. And I'd like to go like a dark carpet, maybe something like this. How does this look? Um, sure. Yeah, I think that's fine. Uh, all right, now we will go furniture, bedroom. We need to find a small bed. And I'm thinking maybe something just real simple like this. Let's go maybe like a like this color. Something like that. Very minimal. 
Whew. We're going to have a hard time fitting everything we need in here, but I think we can make it work. Uh, furniture, bedroom, and we need something like this. Can maybe put that there, and that's essentially going to be like a bedside table, but it will also be the dresser, so that now this officially counts as a bedroom. Uh, what else do we want in here? Probably a bookshelf. Preferably a nice tall one. Like that. There we go. And then over here, we probably just want to go like... Maybe some sort of like hanging clothes rack. It's not much. But again, it's a pretty small space to work with. And I think it... I think this is fine. Actually, you know what? Let's even raise this up a bit. And then I think we can fit a radiator down right there. Uh, mountable. Here we go. So we'll just put that in here. Helps make use of that space a little bit more, but then we gotta kinda raise this up. Or maybe we put this. Hmm. I suppose actually this might be a better spot for that. And then here maybe. I mean, we could put like a TV. We could do like a wall mounted TV in here. Since it is directly across from the bed, I think that would actually be okay. And then just give me like a TV remote that we'll just put right there. And then we need something for this wall. So let's look at our pictures and paintings. Preferably a painting, I think. And you want something that's relatively dark, but I want something also that's horizontal. So it doesn't look like there's a lot of options. Let's look at pictures instead. Maybe like a black and white? Yeah, something like that could work. I think that's good. And then we need lights. So let's just go ceiling and let's maybe go with... Actually, let's use maybe the ceiling fan one. Put that there. And then we want to get rid of these little halogen lights that were... Oh! Well, I accidentally got rid of the ceiling fan, but that's fine. Just put it back. There we go. Yeah, I think that works. Um, maybe like another little rug. Just a very small area rug could be nice. Maybe something like this. How big is that? It's not bad. Just maybe put that here. Just to kind of tie everything together. Yeah, I think that'll work. And the master bedroom is all finished. I went with kind of a green and wood tone color theme here. So we've got a large bed, double bed. We got a dresser. I decided instead of like a TV and stuff, I'd put in like a little reading area. So just an armchair with like a coffee table, a couple of lamps on it, and then a bookshelf. Uh, so that, I think, worked out pretty well. And then we've just got some paintings and things like that to just kind of give it that nice sort of feel. I think it works pretty well. It's, it's very spacious. Uh, it feels like a nice big open bedroom, and I like it a lot. So that's essentially the house as far as the interior goes. We can just kind of take another quick look at everything. So bathroom downstairs, which I, I really like the way the downstairs in this one turned out. I like the way the office turned out, too. Yeah, like overall, I'm really happy with this house. I just wish that there was a little bit more space in the garage, but like, eh, do I care that much? No, <laughs> it's fine, but I'm not done with the house. I want to do the outside as well. I want to do some stuff with the garden here. I think there's a, a pretty good opportunity to do some really cool kind of garden stuff. And I think we're going to go for the English garden right here. So that's essentially my plan. Let me get to work on it and uh, we'll see how it turns out. Well, after spending entirely too much time 
on the garden. I've got the garden all done. So the front I kept fairly simple, just some flower beds, some trees, a couple of bushes, etc., etc. But back here, this is where the magic happens. I went ahead and I picketed off uh, the backyard with a white picket fence. So I fenced that whole thing off and there's a little sort of cobblestone path that kind of comes over to here. And then we've got that kind of cobblestone path going throughout the whole garden area. And there's a ton of stuff here. So we've got like a little picnic table right here. Over here, there's like a gazebo with a couch and a table. Uh, flowers and trees and flowers just everywhere. This would be like wifey's like dream. <laughs> She, she would love this place. Uh, I put a little tool shed back here. There's also a bunch of kind of water features, ponds, uh, bird fountains, stuff like that. Put in a little bridge, uh, some pergolas and gazebos and things, swings, garden gnomes. It's just flowers and beautiful things everywhere you go. Here is the back porch. And basically there's just this one sort of pathway that sort of exits out of it. Uh, we got another gazebo with some more benches uh, or couches or whatever you want to call them and a table. Uh, more flowers everywhere you look. And then over here, there's a little pond as well. So this whole area is all garden and I spent a ridiculous amount of time. I probably spent as much time on the garden as I did on the house itself. <laughs> like, I don't know for sure. I, I wasn't keeping track, but... Man, this took a really long time because you have to individually place every single one of these flowers and uh, like all this kind of stuff. So, but I don't know. I'm super happy with how it turned out. I think it looks really good uh, and it's absolutely gorgeous. So that is the garden. We're going to submit it to the garden contest and we'll see how we do. I think, you know what, before I do that, though, I think I want to take a little bit of a screenshot or two Ooh, hide the hood there we go we're just gonna take some some screenshots of this ridiculous garden <laughs> because it turned out so well it's absolutely beautiful there we go that should be enough all right let's go ahead and try to sell the house we're gonna submit it for the English garden contest and look at that Perfect score, 50% added value to the house. Beautiful. I was going to be really mad if I didn't get a perfect score on it. I spent so much time. <laughs> All right, let's put this thing on auction. So altogether, it looks like we have roughly 140000 into this house. Looks like we're going to get back about... 40,000, but then because of the value from the garden house, it doesn't apply just to your profit, it applies to the whole house itself. So total profit, 125,000, not too shabby, I accept. I'm going to take a couple of screenshots here as well, because I forgot to take screenshots beforehand, but there's some beautiful, that's, yeah. I don't know, I think this house turned out really well. I like it a lot. It's not bad. That's not a bad shot either. You, oh, I was really hoping it would give me a shot of the backyard, but that's okay. Whew, that was a fun one. That was a lot of stuff. That garden, I'll tell you, it took me a while. But, my friends, I am very much out of time for this episode, so I'm going to call this one here. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.